kids, welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Are you ready to listen to the spooky story called Scary Edwin Page? Written by Alex Silifont and illustrated by Daniel Postgate. If you want to buy a copy of this book, the link is available in the description at the bottom of this video. Edwin Page was scary. Not hideously ugly scary. Not large yellow fangs scary. Not green skinned, bulgy eyed, blood sucking monster scary. Edwin Page was just plain scary. It was all because of his hair. It was blacker than a bin bag full of bad dreams. And that is what people saw. They looked at scary Edwin Page's hair and felt like they were about to be dragged screaming into the darkest of nightmares. Even dogs would whimper and cower when scary Edwin Page walked by. And cats would spit and run up trees. If a hamster had escaped from its cage, it soon scampered back when it saw scary Edwin Page. Scary Edwin Page liked being scary, but on one particular night each year, scary Edwin Page was very, very scary indeed, and that night was Halloween. Scary Edwin Page would trick or treat around his town, and people were so scared of him that he would collect enough sweets to last him for the rest of the year. Every house was the same. Scary Edwin Page would knock on a door, the door would open, and he would say, Trick or treat! The people would see his nightmarish hair, throw all their sweets out to get rid of him, slam their door shut, lock it, and hide behind the sofa. This Halloween was different. Word soon got around that Scary Edwin Page was trick or treating, so everyone in town turned out their lights and pretended not to be at home when he knocked on their doors. It didn't bother scary Edwin Page. His treat sack was already so full, it was almost splitting. He was about to go home when he saw a single light coming from an old house at the edge of town. Strange, thought scary Edwin Page. I thought that house was empty. Hmm, must be new people, new victims, ha ha ha, he muttered to himself. So scary Edwin Page walked to the house and knocked on the door. There was no answer, so he knocked again. This time he heard soft footsteps getting nearer and nearer, and eventually, with a long moaning creak, the door opened, and there stood... Hello, lady. Trick or treat! hissed scary Edwin Page through his teeth as he grinned wickedly. Trick or treat? smiled the old lady sweetly. Oh, I do love choices. Rrr, said scary Edwin Page. My, what lovely hair you've got, said the old lady. Mmm, said scary Edwin Page. Ah, oh, yes, said the old lady. Trick or treat, wasn't it? Okay, I choose trick. The old lady reached up her right hand and grabbed a hair. For a while, she looked a little puzzled as she twisted and tugged at her hair this way and that. Then she smiled. Silly old me, she sighed. I remember now. Then, with the sucking sound, a Wellington boot makes when it is pulled out of thick gooey mud and the rip of dry paper plop scary Edwin Page ran and ran as fast as he could dropping his bulging sack of treats so it didn't slow him down he ran away from the sinister old house he ran through the town with no lights on he ran up the path to his house he ran through his front door, he ran up the stairs, and he ran, well, he jumped into his bed. 
and he stayed hidden there under the covers shaking with fear until morning some people wonder how scary sorry not so scary edwin page's hair changed color that halloween but i think you'll agree sometimes it is better not to know the end thanks for listening if you enjoyed this story and you want to stay up to date on all my other videos ask a grown-up to click on the big red subscribe button i'll see you soon oh and remember always be good and kind thanks for watching and listening enjoy more stories at dixie storytime world on youtube we're also available on the kids youtube app